Hello everyone, this is Dr. Van Merkel, President and Founder of Science-Based Nutrition, and I'm going to present to you now the unique things about the Science-Based Nutrition Report, a patient report that you can provide to all of your patients. I developed this about 30 years ago and it will truly make your life much easier, more efficient. It explains your lab results and other factors to your patients. It's all objective, all written down. And you're going to provide reports to your patients that, that they're going to be proud to show family and friends, take to other doctors, take it to attorneys. This report is going to really help your practice because it's going to be great for marketing, great for advertising. It's going to help cut down patient time explaining things and re-explaining things because it's all written down. It's also going to help patient compliance because now they know what the test results mean. It's going to drive vitamin sales and retesting. Now they have an, uh, an objective test and report, and they expect to see results, and they'll be able to easily see results with this report. So let's get right into it. This is what's going to be on your report. This is the way it's going to print out right now. And when it says PSS, when it says from the PSS, primary symptoms, PSS means our patient symptom survey. And when you, the SBN member, you're going to send a link to the patient and the link is going to send them, the patient, to SBN to fill out their patient symptom survey and their medication. So this is all done by the, by the patient uh, putting all their symptoms in. And they're going to list up four primary reasons why they came in and other presenting symptoms. And there's the disclaimer on every page. And this patient had lots of symptoms. Patient comments, you can cut and paste as much as you want in this area. Provider comments or findings, you might want to do an orthopedic neurological exam. You can cut and paste as much as you want in here. You have objective diagnostic findings. These are the actual objective results from the patient's lab work, blood work, urine, whatever. Right there they are. We list all the medications, or actually the patient lists all the medications and how long they've been on them. Then the report automatically lists what that medication is most commonly used for. It lists all the side effects. And not only that, now this is going to be used again. I want you to remember this. The medication may cause adverse lab findings and direct organ disease. And that's what we see here. We see some organ, uh, kidney, liver, brain, pancreas, spleen, that this drug can directly cause. Now that's important to know, and that's going to come back later in the report, that information. Now there's special considerations vitamin food contraindications for Coumadin. That's pretty handy to have, isn't it? So certain nutrients can enhance the effect of Coumadin causing increased bleeding and bruising. Now, can you remember all these, all these nutrients and foods that you need to avoid? No, you can't. And trying to explain all that to the patient is going to be cumbersome where it's all listed right here for you. And then the nutrients are depleted by that drug, by depletes the body of these nutrients. Now, many of your older patients are going to be on hydrochlorothiazide. It's a water pill. And look at all the side effects as well as organ dysfunction. And you can read those in there. And uh, you can see um, uh, other conditions there. But also note the nutrients depleted by the hydrochlorothiazide. All of these vitamins are depleted by hydrochlorothiazide. Now, did you know that? Can you remember that? Is this important that the patient knows this? And now we have, let's just go to statins. Are the most commonly prescribed drug in the United States. Patients and doctors must know the side effects and the nutrients that are depleted by these drugs. Now, don't you think this information will be impactful for the patient and helpful for the doctor? So your patient is going to say, you mean Lipitor is causing all my my well look can cause liver disease pancreatic disease but it caused my muscle pain and muscle tenderness it's causing these other problems oh and you and elliptor also depletes the body of a d e and k b12 all those nutrients and uh look at well here's uh, other nutrient depletions caused by that drug can you remember all those we don't have to anymore because the report does it all for you now we going through here Interpreting lab results, this section here explains the red, yellow, and blue, the actual test results, which we'll see here in just a minute. Now, there's different components to this. 
supported findings. And you'll see supported findings when there's diagnostic factors. So supported findings highlight other test results that are tied to or support that specific diagnosis. So the patient is diabetic. Well, that's, just, that's, that's supported by high uric acid. High uric acid is common with diabetes, low chloride. So all these things are, are affected. Moving on. The verbiage is specific to the patient. So the verbiage is customized per patient and based off their objective lab test results. Example, the chloride and globulin are low. Now, if it's low, it means they're red. And we can look at the test results over here and see the chloride and globulin are red low. So the verbiage here correlates with their test results, which we'll go over the whole test results here in a minute. So the chloride and globulin are low. That'll be red on your report, Mrs. Jones. And the total protein is a little low. That will be yellow. And the albumin is a little bit high. That will also be yellow. This is now, here's what you have to explain what that means. This is most likely due to poor digestion, low protein, high carbohydrate diet, and seen in edema, malnutrition, and malabsorption. Digestive enzymes with chloride might be a benefit. Uh, chloride and electrolyte is necessary for proper metabolism and digestion, especially the digestion of protein. A low chloride is often da da da, and many drugs and medication can cause or contribute toward these findings. Here we go again. Globulin, a type of protein, is important for a strong immune system and to fight disease. Albumin, another type of protein, helps with the transport of nutrients and important in healing and repair. This mildly elevated level of albumin, because it's yellow high, mildly elevated, might be a benefit in this case. So everything you need to know about the test results here is explained in the report. In fact, everything the patient needs to know about your findings is in the report. This report is so incredible, it's ready to hand to the patient. So, the SBN report is extremely patient-friendly and color coding helps make the report even easier to understand, especially with the consistent verbiage in the report. You'll never be able to get a report as thorough and comprehensive as this without spending four or five or six hours per report because you can't get all this information. That's why it's computerized. A computer doesn't forget. Now, associated findings identify the medication side effects that directly influences their lab results. Here we go again. Now, remember what was blue before? Remember that Coumadin caused liver disease? Well, here we have inflammation of the liver. And it says the patient's on Coumadin. They're also on Lipitor and these other drugs, HCTZ. And these drugs directly cause inflammation of the liver. So the medication side effects that directly influence their lab results. So the patient says, you mean I'm on Coumadin and Lipitor that both make my liver sick? Yeah, that's, that's what this is showing. And, uh, and so this is very impactful for the patient. They're, they're like blown away by it. Wow, those drugs are directly making my liver sick. And you can go back. You could actually go back if you wanted to and see where the side effects of the med medication directly come out and say, liver. There we are. So see how this all ties everything in together? Okay. Now, the patient also revealed that thyroid was removed. However, it was removed. Through medication or surgery, the thyroid function is gone, which this is critical when taking into account with lab findings. And so here the report says that thyroid gland function has been removed by either surgery or radiation and special consideration needs to be made. Now, I know we all get busy and the patients may forget to tell you things, but when they fill it out online, it's all right there. And so Nate, note, special considerations are going to be considered. The patient's thyroid is removed as identified by the PSS. This information is critical when analyzing the thyroid test results. Thyroid removal and radiated thyroid must be considered for proper treatment. Not only that, there's also special considerations that need to be, um, or special cautions for this. And it's got extra information that you, the doctor, and patient needs to know. Caution for post-thyroidectomy. The most frequent complication occurring in um, half the patients is inadvertent devascularization and uh, nerve damage and removal of the parathyroid glands leading to hypocalcemia and a need for vitamin D. Uh, and it actually recommends testing to see uh, in certain cases, testing if that's the case. So all critical information 
that you may forget or be in a hurry, but when you get the report, it's all right there. Read your report. So we also have associated findings. The patient checked off that they have a lot of symptoms. Well, they have depression. Depression can be effect, can be associated with thyroid problems, can it? Uh, hypercholesterolemia, cold hands, cold feet. These symptoms here, what the patient had in their scene, you mean my depression could be caused my thyroid's not right or the medication's not right? Yeah, it can. So right there, we correlate their symptoms that they checked off with their specific lab findings in organ dysfunction. And we go on, the comprehensive analysis and diagnosis, the patient has hemochromatosis. So it goes into a great detailed explanation of hemochromatosis and all the problems associated with it and basically what to do with that. So a uh, very comprehensive and thorough report. So comprehensive analysis, diagnosis and treatment recommendations are thorough and comprehensive for every uh, thing that's red, yellow, or blue. And we go on through and we have no to, we have hair values, same thing with the hair values, toxic heavy metals is going to give the possible sources of exposure where they're getting it uh, uh, or contamination are listed. We also list common signs and symptoms and treatment considerations. So right there, look at all this stuff for lead that you're going to find out and the patient's going to learn when they start reading it and they're going to start looking at all this stuff with lead and they're going to say, oh my gosh, that can be causing my problems. Very well could be a factor. So you can read through this report. There's a sample report on the website that you can read it in detail and there's nutrients recommended. The nutrient recommendations um, are based specifically from this patient's lab findings. Now there's also what we call boilerplate information. You can customize this report and here's some areas that you can customize for each patient. Now it'll have uh, basically, uh, it'll default to this, but you can modify the diet in any way you want. And we have multiple diets you could cut and paste in. And uh, here's more information that you can customize, cut and paste. And, and uh, that's very easy to do. Our, our uh, training online will easily show you how to do that in more customization for your report. Then we have the actual test results, side-by-side -side test results, maybe your most current one will be listed here, then a previous test, prior one will be here. Now we have the test side-by-side, -side. blue is code blue, red is danger, yellow is warning. You see critical, high risk, and warning. I just call it code blue, danger, and warning. And then you see a delta here, green spotted face, it means the value is improving. It still may be red, yellow, or blue, but it's going in the right direction. It's improving. So this is what your patient is going to look at first, guaranteed. Once they've seen the report, as soon as they get another test, boom, they're going to go right to this because can they understand the results here? In a, in a heartbeat, they can see, wow, look at that. My uh, ferritin is better. It's still too high, but it dropped 100 points. And they can easily see where things have improved. Green smiley face means it's better, as well as the actual test results. Red frowny face means it's worse. So you can easily see right there, this is wonderful. And then when you start doing a lot of labs, it's good to have the history of the maybe a previous six lab test on the, on the next page. So you can chart their progress over a longer period of time. Hair testing, same format. The nutrient recommendations, the vitamin recommendations are based on five factors. The actual test results they have, their age, sex, weight, and medications they're on. The medications. So right there is what this patient needs, a number of pills based on the SBN Merkel vitamin line. This is what I have experience with. This is what I've used for 30 years of practice. I'm not saying these are the only vitamins that will work. What I'm saying is these are the ones that I have experience with and have shown to do the job. If you have experience with other vitamins, other vitamin companies, I'm okay with that. Um, but I have experience with these. And I use about 15 different vitamin companies. No one has the best of everything. And so because I'm not tied to a vitamin company, I'm free to use whatever I want. And I found uh, some particularly um, uh, effective nutrients, but I've not found one company that's got the best of everything. Again, you're welcome to use whatever you want. If you're going to, if you're new to this, I'd kind of recommend you start with um, a product line. If uh, I'm going to be helping you, I will recommend, if you have problems, I will recommend those nutrients that I have experience with. 
You may have a vitamin company you like to use that I don't have experience with and I don't have time to, to learn all those vitamins uh, and how effective they are. If you need my help, I will recommend those vitamins that I have experience with. Makes sense, doesn't it? So right there, um, I've gone over our sample report. Now, this patient has a lot of vitamins because he was really sick. If you go back and look at the results. Now, here's an important factor. The number of vitamins recommended is only an indication of how sick the patient is. The sicker you are, the more vitamins you're going to need. Now, here's what I tell my patients. It's unreasonable you need this, that you need this number of vitamins for very long, but you need it now. In fact, if you are a car, do you think a little oil change in air in the tire is going to fix you? No, we got to overhaul this wreck you brought in. And we're going to try and make dramatic, significant change in two months. That's all I'm expecting you to do is follow a program for two months. Now, understand, the closer you follow the program, the better results you will have and the fewer vitamins you will need. When you follow the program most closely, your next vitamin list could be only half this big. The better you follow the, the, the follow recommendations, the better results you will have. And, that's, and we have other uh, consultation tips on how to talk to patients about this and various other things. And you will get that in further training online. So hopefully this has helped. Hope you are uh, all become SBN members and utilize this report. It can change your practice and you will change and save a tremendous number of lives in your community and the people and patients you work with. Have a great day. I'm Dr. Merkel.